Maybe she's very angry. No, maybe she's not. Sorry, I'm misunderstanding intention here. Okay. Let's try and move it close. Okay. Um, no, it's okay. No, I'm just trying to help. I'm here to help. Um. What's the issue, they're Kate? starting, they're just, they're, the, the nature of how they land on me is changing. Do you want to put on gloves? Um, should or I do you want me to, to reach in? Something? Sure, maybe I'll do that. Sorry. I can feel them starting to roll as they land on me. Yeah. Which generally means they're getting a bit angrier. Yeah, well, a lot is going on. Before they were just crawling, like, you know, happy days, no problem, and now they're like, I don't know what to talk. Okay. So you can put that back in, Kate. Okay. And slide it towards the. This well, one? actually, you don't have to move it too far. Shall we? Uh, the one we're going to put in should probably go on the end. Or it's a brood really frame. No, it doesn't have to go to the end. I don't want to drop it. Well, so you having trouble? No, I'm just. I don't want to squish them. Well, if you go down slowly, they will. Uh, Yes, exactly. Now, do you want the one that's completely empty, or do you want the one that has the entry foundation on it? The one that's completely empty can have those two bits, can it not? Okay. Do you want one? So what are we going to tie it with? Well, the only thing we really have is this green twine. Right. And look at this guy's on it. Okay. They're not completely over to it. But no, but look, he's getting stuck. His feet are stuck. Pass me the green twine because we, we've got to get it in the hive. We sure. can't leave it out. Okay. And uh, they will sort it out. Um, Do you want me to move? No. Um, you have good hands for tying. If Sue needs help with tying oh, okay. knots, yeah, that's really I think you'd be good to do it. So. Have you a... Something to cut it with? Here I come. Oh yeah, we have to um, Well, so what do you think we should do? Like go across? Yes, exactly. Like, just like that. And you have to go around several times, yeah. understanding that they will remove it when they get, yeah. once they've secured the wax otherwise. can't they? They can just sort it out themselves. So I'm going to lift this piece up and lay the string. They're all holding up to it. It's very funny. the wire. Excellent. And you tie the knot in there. Oh, you want me to tie it? Yeah. Okay, sorry, you've got the... So I've got the frame. You're socializing on me. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, this for sure scare anyone. There we go. Thank you. Excellent. There we go. 
Do you want me to cut the, the loose end? The long end. The long end, okay. And then I'll just cut this one back. Okay. There we go. Shall I? Yes, please. Now if we can do that one more time, we are done for the day. But we know what we're in store for next week. Yeah. That's amazing. Because last, last year, you know, we were surprised they weren't drying out as much. And then when we first checked, the, the first time we opened the hive, we were kind of nervous that they hadn't... Oh. So bad I crushed the... Yeah. Oh, well, it wasn't you, Kate. It was It was because they built that all down below. So if you lift up that flame there, Kate. Sure. And will they be all right without without the strip of foundation? Oh yeah, yeah. Be better, this, this oh, is going to have to remove some of the strip of foundation. Yes, absolutely. And that's usually what they do is they tear it down. Do you need me to hold it? Hold the... Now try and keep the points of the hexagons up, if possible. Oh, um, I can't even see the other points way right round, don't we? No? Are these the wrong way round? No, you're correct. Yeah, you're correct. Are, because right. we can tell because this is where smooth. Where it broke, this, the, the tapered bit is on the bottom. Yeah. to put this one on as well. Yeah, can so. we do them both on the so, same frame? Should I try and slide this one over? Yeah, yeah. to your right. Excellent. There we go. And even l l rest it up against the sidebar. Sure. I um, I can't... Oh, thanks. You're though. doing it. You're doing it. Goodness, you'd make a good midwife. <laughs> There's, oh no, there's Varroa on this brood. Do you see them? The red? Okay, don't startle. I won't, I'm sorry. Do you see the two? On that on that one exposed brood right there that's broken? Sue, let me turn this around so you can see the Varroa. Oh, thank you. Do you see? On, on that exposed piece of brood on the edge, there's two of them. I was like, what is that? And then, oh dear, it's Varroa. So that must be a drone brood night then, right? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. They prefer the drone. But can can you see it on the camera, Shannon? Um, I've got a picture of it on the camera. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. The two of them. I see. Let me zoom in. Will I pick them out? Since no, no, no. Okay. No, I mean with a... Um, you, it's their mating cycle. Okay. You may not, by capturing individual ones, you may not, you may do more damage than okay. in terms of... Okay, sure. Want. Can I hold now? Can you tell me? Sure. Thanks. Here we go. You got it? Okay. Take this. I've got this thing. There we go. Yeah. I would never have realized that was when I was just seeing them. Yeah, I was, I was like, that's odd. I wonder what that is. Because it doesn't look like their normal anatomy, you know. And then here, I'll just grab this one. Yeah. Oh goodness, they're like, what is this? What's going on? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me move that. Oh, sorry about so the rude. Okay. So, it's this way, is it? Obviously yeah. the curve downwards. Yes. Yeah, okay. Let me just take this off And the, okay. the point of the hexagon go and goes up, that's it, that's okay. it. Okay. So we just hold it as close to the... I think so. Do you need an extra hand? I think maybe. Yeah, if you could hold the top, Shannon. 